this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. Because you don't want to damage those headers. With them all inserted in, it makes pretty good platform for you to solder it in. Okay, so back with our soldering now. Okay, and something I want to show you is that I made a mistake, and you probably figured it out before I did. But I'm soldering this on to the wrong side. But you're going to make mistakes. you got to know how to clean it up. You're not going to stop what you're doing just because you made a mistake. You found a way to solve that problem so you could keep doing what you were doing. But you know the easiest way to avoid these problems is to make sure that you have it on the right side in the first place. When you get done, it's supposed to fit like this. Okay. That ensures a good connection. Okay. Now we got to get this one on there. So I just wanted to do a little bit of a fitting because I know that we had a couple problems there so let's go ahead and get the last one on which shouldn't be a problem here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get them all soldered in and at that point we will have all our components added the ICs could go on then then we could concentrate on the LEDs okay so we have pretty much the board taken care of we have all of those pins that the LED leads are going to fit into we have our pins that the UNO is going to fit into and the sockets, the resistors all soldered in now all we need to do is to put our ICs in when you put these in you want to be careful that you don't bend no leads it takes a little bit of manipulation what they say is with a new IC you want to take it and you want to rock it a little bit so take your finger rock it just a little bit so that it bends just a little not too much not too much pressure then you will take it and you will put it in. Okay, I believe I have it now. Once you believe you have it, see to give it a little bit of pressure. Push it in. Now that looks just fine. And let's try with the other one. Now remember a little bit of pressure with your finger make sure your fingers even and rock it a little bit okay now let's see okay so I believe I got to see it so a little bit of pressure in 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 okay in so we have our ICs in there in the right directions. We now have our headers in there in the right direction. So the PC board B board is done at this point. Okay. I say the styrofoam too because that helps in soldering. Now 
what you want to do is you want to go ahead and fit it onto your Uno, whichever one you're going to use. I think I'm going to use to make it. Simply because it has IC. Actually, I'm going to use this one. And I hope that it worked. I got these from eBay. I got them because I thought they were these. But they were not. They gave me, they were pictured as these. But just like I thought, if they didn't work or something was wrong with the chip, I wanted to be able to replace it with a new chip. But with this one, you can't replace it. And most of the ones that I got from eBay did not work. It would be just too much to send it back. They lost themselves a customer. It's hard to find credible people on eBay, but okay. Now, as you can see, I kind of fitted this in first, just like I did the IC. Once it's in the way you want it to be in, you just push it, a gentle pressure, because if it's not in right, you don't want to bend the leads. So, this one is in good, and this part is done. This is how it looks once it's done. You have your leads that the IC is going to come into. All of your stuff that you soldered on, like the resistors and the sockets and everything, they're inside. All you will see on this side is what you're going to insert the LEDs in. And that's the only part we have to address now. So we're going to set that to the side. Now for our LEDs. And you're going to need some extra parts to work with the LEDs. Or you could do it your own different way. What you're going to need to line them up it's these things. They look just like these, only they're smaller. Okay? Now, reason being is we're going to use these to hold the LEDs. So, I would insert it like such. And then the LED is going to go in to the side like that. And it fits in pretty good and you just push it and try to keep everything uniform. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get more of these because once you get them all lined up, they fit in there pretty sweet. I believe this is the right size. Right. Okay. So, I'm going to need so many of these. I had some set up somewhere, but I can't find where I had them set up. So, I'm just going to have to make some more. So... I'm going to go off screen while I get those set up for you, and we'll be right back. Okay, now we're on to the next part where we're actually preparing these headers. So we have the first row here. We have three of the second row. We need 16. So we're taking our pliers and breaking them off carefully so that's the second row That's the third row. Gotta stop doing that. We pinching on a black plastic part. So 
you get it by the second row, the set two. You get the pliers on the plastic part and bend it down. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. We only need two more. Like I said, I had these already done. <laughs> I just can't find them. Okay, so we have what we need to set up. What they call the slices of the LEDs. Okay, now we're going to use breadboards. The instructions that I have is from Kevin's blog. The IC station 4x4x4 four by four by four LED cube shield for Arduino hardware build. And thank you so much for actually doing that blog because it did explain a lot. I am Ebony Geek and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.